Morning all, it's bright and early, 7am on a Saturday morning following the Friday night live stream and we're back at work again Saturday morning and test riding this yeah hey hey, Lex Moto Aura love these scoots, very very aesthetically pleasing on the eye with its lines and this one is a customer's test ride so, going to be taking this one out now look at that look at the shape of that key, does that not scream Tesla to you? So, Lexmoto Aura, very easy to manage. Two places to put your feet, straight down or up in front. Discs, brakes, front and back, and a nice little plastic cover to the exhaust. Now, fold out pegs for your pillion. One thing I do like about this seat, it's got the little bit at the back that supports the backside, and there's plenty of room for the pillion and some nice grab rails. So, let's sit on the bike and show you exactly what it does in a second arm the bike up there we go brings up the ignition key bring it round to seat all you've got to do one press pops your fuel cap which is down there e5 petrol and the other one if you push this down quite hard pops the seat not enough room in there for a full face helmet but you will get quite a bit of gear in there and an open face helmet and your VIN number goes to the back all you've got to do pop the seat down give it a bit of a bump that locks the seat out now key in the pocket once you've got the key in the pocket the bike will pick up the remote fob and bring up the ignition arms for about five seconds and goes off so give it a press turn it to one there's your display you have your speed indicator on the left so miles and kilometers you've also got it in the center of the screen and you've got your revs there and all your telltales are down on the bottom left and the bottom right now it's in kilometers at the moment and it's just a case of press the button hold it and you can bring up your miles per hour you can also go up the top and set the time so one of these does put it into miles an hour and it's remembering how to do this damn thing but very easy to do i think you have to push and hold on these ones but i will check the spec anyway when we get back we'll set that up into miles per hour and i know with most of the bikes, 44 mile, uh, 44k is 35, uh, 30 miles an hour. If you get it up to about 55, 60, that is your 40 mile an hour. Now, on the controls, horn, indicators, main beam, dip beam, you've got a pass light that is just underneath, so just push down. That will bring up your telltale there, and your telltales for indicators come up on the right-hand side. Start, kill button, and... A hazard light switch so squeeze the brake hit the button very quiet engine on this so clock needs adjusting as well because it's telling me it's 9.05 actually 7.05 in the morning we're gonna get out nice wide mirrors a little screen to deflect a bit of air does it deflect any air a little bit but not a lot you're still gonna get some wind noise in your face but someone did say to me I have an aura and I've got a bigger custom-made screen on it so he's got an aftermarket screen that sits up about here does deflect a lot more wind right let's get out into traffic wind the power on and see how quick we can get it up to speed and it gets there look at that so 40 mile an hour and we're going to sit it around 60k that will give you about 40 mile an hour but a great little bike these and believe it or not people do use these for delivery now you've got handrails on the back of these but you can get an aftermarket rack now the rack isn't big enough for your big uber or your delivery top boxes your big plasticky things that take a pizza but you can get a decent 32 or a 42 litre top box on these coming in on the front brake just look at that stopping power and it's got a combined braking so when you pull on the left brake you will get 70% rear and about 30% front on it so two to one on the dual braking so let's get a bit of dual carriageway in and as one of the moto vloggers said on his stream the other day or on one of his videos he went 
the king of the A5 is RB because he's always going up and down the A5 so if you want A5 footage go and look at RB's videos yes thank you I do a lot of A5 videos but it's the best thing for cranking up the miles and getting uh, a little bit of mileage on the bike now it's just so just so happens that I have a speed indicator down there so I know where 40 mile an hour is that's quite handy so you can have the clocks in K or miles an hour but you've also got your speed counter on the other side just in case you get stuck now on that display the LED display on there you've got your battery charge is on the right hand side over on the left is your fuel tank down below is trip mileage and in the centre obviously your miles an hour or your kilometres an hour very easy to get through and you've got a little time clock up there as well that just tells you how fast you are going but from the, the purposes of my ride test I can just look down there at the uh, clock on the left to get my 40 to 45 mile an hour which is about 62k 62, 63k but the seat, super comfortable, that little uh, bump at the back does tuck you into the seat and it's very comfortable. I do like riding these Auras and being keyless, great idea because you have not got the key with you, the bike is not going to start and the uh, that lock will not undo. So it's all electronic on the front. And someone says, what happens if it fails? They very rarely fail, but if they do, it's just a case of... Uh, take that unit out and just change it over it uh, takes about an hour to change one of those over but they very rarely fail and being keyless you haven't got to worry about little oodlums trying to put a screwdriver in there to unlock the bike they're not getting past it the riding position very good get your hands up right does tuck you into the bars a bit obviously sitting forward on that seat but someone said you can actually sit on the back seat of one of these I wouldn't try it you're meant to be on the front of the seat but you can if you're obviously a bit longer in the leg shift yourself backwards onto the back seat or do this put your feet forward a little bit more leg room and that's a lot more comfortable for stretching the feet out so longer journeys stick your feet in front and makes it a little bit more comfortable on the legs but for me pottering around I'm just going to have the legs straight down on those boards engine on these is super super reliable and as always servicing on these 500 miles three months once you've had your first service you can open it up to 50 55 and that will take you to 3,000 miles or six months after your first service but nice and early hardly any traffic about which is a good thing for me it means we can crank up some mileage right so we're going to come off here we're going to go back down the other side of the dual carriageway and then we are going to wander around town and see what it's like poddling around town and have a little bit of fun in the 30 mile an hour sections so what's on for this weekend? Well, there is a lot on this weekend. It's probably going to be the final Super Sausage Run this Sunday. And according to the weather, tomorrow is going to be the only day that has no rain. Thank you, weather. It allows me to get out on a dry day and have a bit of fun to the Super Sausage. Right, we're going to come in on rear brake and combined. And yes, that pulls down nice and hard. So Super Sausage Run tomorrow, down to the Super Sausage for a bacon and uh, sausage roll, cup of coffee, and I believe we're going to be meeting up with Andy GSA Tractor, possibly Peaky, and probably Red Rhythmic, Maynard, Mad Old Biker and all the crew, so we'll see who is there tomorrow, keep an eye out for that video, but the one big thing, and uh, we're lining it up at the moment, we are a month out from the bike show, at the NEC and everyone's like oh are you going yes we are we are going down Sunday the 19th and we're going to be meeting at the front of the NEC 
all the moto vloggers are coming down from Scotland, the Midlands, from up south, uh, from down south, and we're all going to be meeting at the front of the NEC between about nine and ten o'clock. And then we're all going to have a wander around, do our own thing, but it's going to be a big catch-up for all the motor vloggers, so we should be taking the cameras there. Let them go, even though I've got a green light. Off you go, matey. So, we're going to be meeting up with everybody at the NEC. So, if you fancy coming to join us, meet up with RB, I'm going to be taking a load of stickers and merchandise with me. And a few t-shirts, bits and pieces, probably a couple of jackets. If anybody wants any merch, free of charge. Pop and see RB while stocks last. So it's NEC, 19th of November, which is a Sunday. Come and meet up with the crew. And uh, been chatting with a Z head yesterday, and he said he's going to try and make it. So it'd be nice to catch up with all the Scottish motor vloggers. Have a little bit of fun, have a catch up, have a coffee, have a just a good old natter with people that uh, I obviously have seen but never met up with. So we're all going to pop up and have a have a natter to that. But if as I say, if you want to come and join us, you're welcome to do so. We will meet you at the doors between 9 and 10. And I believe Phil from the Garage is going as well with the crew from Eclipse. So you can come and meet the team. That will be a quite an interesting day. But obviously tomorrow being coming to the end of bike season, everyone said, oh, is it going to be the last Super Sausage run? Probably will be. Anyway, back to the Aura. Running like a good one. Cranking the mileage along. And it's very, very stable. There is a little bit of a wind. I'd say it's about 10 mile an hour headwind at the moment. And it's not pushing me about at all. It's quite a big bike. I'd say it's like a maxi-sized bike. But it is very comfortable to ride. And these little auras just keep going and going and going. We have sold absolutely bucket loads of these things. And a little bit more expensive than your standard scoot. But for the comfort, the storage, the aesthetics and the look and run of the bike, it is very, very good. Love these. Absolutely love these. Oh, is a cup of coffee going to be waiting for me when I get back to the garage and warmed up? I hope so. The boys should be in by now putting the bikes out for me. Now, the only bike that I roll out onto the yard is mine because obviously being a big beast, don't want anybody dropping it. But we leave the 125s to be put on the yard by my junior mechanic. And it's a very busy day for us today. We have... I believe about five MOTs to do, a couple of services, <coughs> and prep the last couple of bikes to go out, register a few more, a lot of bikes going out next week, Tuesday the Cadwell is going, also a couple of Echoes, one of the Echoes goes today, so that is all ready and prepped, I've done the paperwork on that last night, and the final ride went up this morning, so you'll probably already see that on my YouTube channel. But we are cranking out videos left, right and centre at the moment. A lot of ride videos coming out. So, last bit of the dual carriageway coming up, yes! So cranking up the kilometres on the bottom, plenty of mileage on the bike, but at least we know it runs and uh, people do ask, why do you do such a long ride test? A lot of garages will just do a quick mile around the block, it's not going to show any faults with the bike unless you get at least 10 miles on it, if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen in the first 10 miles, hence why I have to do all the ride testing, but of the hundred or so bikes that we've done we've had hardly any problems and most of the problems are normally down to either customer is not riding the bike correctly or wrong fuel yes they put the wrong fuel in it so folding out round the roundabout look at this green light all the way round 
coming off here, noddy nod, have a little one two five, give them a little bike and nod. <coughs> Back past my garden centre, who were doing very well with their EV charge points. I uh, called the boys yesterday when I was out on a quick test ride, and uh, we always shoot from down there at the garden centre. Normally I shoot on the road, there's a nice bit of grass there and a little bit of hedge, either that or down to our local uh, Caldicott Lake and shoot from there. But I normally shoot down here at Dobby's. Uh, people have been asking, what are they doing building behind you? They're putting in four EV charging points for electric cars. Yes, EV charge points are popping up everywhere. So there's the garden centre called Dobby's. And just over there you can see all the building work where they're putting in the uh, EV charge points. So, almost back at the garage, my favourite venue, Pink Punters, opens from 10 until 6.30. Go on, through the camera, yay! <laughs> yeah, I would watch your, uh, your number plate, matey, as you came in there a little bit hot. Look, uh, typical learner, look, look, straight up on the pavement. Why don't you just park in the road, you donut? <laughs> yeah, another one that needs to uh, learn how to ride. And he's going to go for it, look. Bell end of the week, he's on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh dear, look. Too close to the car in front, tailgating. I'm not going to say a thing. Um, as we say, organ look, wrong side of the roundabout as well. Oh, that's going to make a great video. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> as I say, yeah, even bikers can be bell ends as well. And if you've watched it right to the end, that's going to probably go up on another bell end of the week video. I drive sensibly. Captain Slow, they call me. So, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit all the channels, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. But for myself, I'll be, be well, ride safe. And as always, from the big GTR, it's a big goodbye from me.